Hello dear students, welcome again. In this video, I am going to discuss market equilibrium or how demand and sup supply equalizes and determine a price or how price is determined with the demand and supply forces so dear students if you have not subscribed my channel yet this is my channel link please do subscribe let us begin with the topic market equilibrium what do we mean by market equilibrium equilibrium simply means balance जब चीजें बैलेंस हो बराबर हो इक्वल हो दैट इज सो वेन द मार्केट इज इन इक्लिब्रियम सो मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम इज अ स्टेट और इज अ कंडीशन इन विच बोथ डिमांड एंड सप्लाई फोर्सेस बोथ आर इक्वल इन टेक्निकल टर्म यू कैन से इज अ मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम इज दैट अ स्टेट इन विच क्वांटिटी दैट फर्म्स वॉन्ट टू सप्लाई इक्वल्स द क्वांटिटी दैट कंज्यूमर्स want to buy consumers jitna buy karna chahte hain utna hi firms aur companies supply karna chahte dono jab equalize hota hai to market humko hum bolenge equilibrium mein hai so the price the price that clears the market that clears the market means there is no shortage there is no surplus it is just equal is called equilibrium price okay the price which brings equality between demand and supply that is known as equilibrium price and the quantity bought and sold is called the equilibrium quantity okay so that is the meaning of equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity i'll repeat again equilibrium price is a price at which both demand and supply of the commodity or service are equal and equilibrium quantity is a quantity where the product bought and sold both are equal okay so the market is said to be at rest or an equilibrium price an equilibrium quantity will stay at those levels until either demand or supply changes that means the there will be equilibrium unless there is disturbance either in demand forces or supply forces ye jo equilibrium hai market equilibrium tab tak disturb nahi hoga jab tak chahe ya to supply forces supply change ho jaye by the firms or कंज्यूमर्स की डिमांड चेंज हो जाए उसके वजह से फिर ये इक्लिब्रियम प्राइस इक्लिब्रियम क्वांटिटी जो है वो चेंज हो जाएगा ओके सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम लेट अस सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल हाउ दिस कैन बी शोन सो आई हैव टेकन एग्जांपल मार्केट फॉर सूट्स राइट सो प्राइस ऑफ सूट्स इन रुपीज शोन इन रुपीज स्टार्टिंग विथ फिफ्टी रुपीज टू फोर okay here quantity demanded per month that is in 100 quantity supplied per month that is also in hundreds so at zero price you can see demand is shown as at uh, you know freely everybody wants anything can be demanded you know for demand there is no problem but supply will be zero so literally there will not be any you know this demand will not materialize then when price increases from 0 to 50 demand increase to demand decrease to 7 instead of 8 now it is 7 whereas uh, supply increase to 1 so you can see there is a gap you know supply is less that is 1 demand is 7 so there is a scarcity right there is a shortage in the market at this price demand is more supply is low, less so there is a shortage in the market so this you know shortage you know pulls up the price so price increases to 100 again you can see with the increase in price demand has gone down from 7 to 6 and supply increase to 2 so this force you know again there is a gap there is a shortage in this case also there is shortage at this price demand is 6 supply is 2 further there is this pulls up the price 250 now the demand is 5 and supply is 3 still there is a shortage and then price reaches to 200 rupees 
per suit now the demand is for and quantity supplied by the firms are also four so the price this price 200 is known as equilibrium price why because at this level the demand is equal to the supply and this quantity is known as equilibrium quantity somehow somehow if the price changes maybe because of demand factors or supply factors or producer may be willing to earn more or sell more increases say this uh, price uh, this quantity supplied increases to five so you can see with the increase in uh, price the what do you call uh, demand has gone down to three from four so here now there is a surplus okay there is a surplus in the market so further because of influx of maybe number of sellers might have gone up okay so because of that this supply is increasing continuously this and demand is also increasing you know this price is also increasing 250 300 350 so as price is going high the demand is falling down and it reaches to zero also and it, the supply has gone up to 800 so this supply there is supply enough supply but there is no demand so again there will be a reverse uh, you know movement in the demand forces or supply forces the with the no with no sales the sellers will not be able to sell it there will be overstock production will reduce and that way you know the market again will find ways and means to bring out equilibrium in the market so ultimately market equilibrium is a situation when both demand and supply equalizes with each other and the price at which this equilibrium established that is known as equilibrium price and the quantity at which both demand and supply equalizes that is known as equilibrium quantity this okay so if the price above the equilibrium price one thing to note please keep in mind if the price is above the equilibrium then there will be surplus and if the price prevailing in the market is below the equilibrium price then there will be shortage in the market let us understand this with the help of this diagram so you can see our equilibrium price is 200 okay at this point you have you know equality of both demand and supply and this is the quantity you know which is supplied 400 units of suits which are supplied and this is the equilibrium price but somehow if the price is above the equilibrium price that is 300 and when the price is 300 which is above the equilibrium this will bring in surplus in the market that means your uh, supply will be more than the demand demand will be less then supply your supply will be more demand will be less so there is a competition among the sellers to sell the product and this will bring down the uh, price down so there will be downward movement when the prices goes down the demand will increase and supply will decrease and ultimately equilibrium will be established further somehow if the price is below the market equilibrium or below the equilibrium price if market price is below the equilibrium price at this level there will be shortage in the market which means your demand will be greater than supply so here this demand force is dominating in the market this demand force will create incentives for the sellers to supply more and this will lead to increase in the price there will be upward movement and both when there is upward movement supply will go up and demand will decrease and ultimately again equilibrium will be established so this interaction between demand and supply forces brings in equilibrium in the market demand and supply forces key action interaction continuously 
इनफाइनाइटली चलते ही रहते मार्केट में वी रेयरली अचीव दिस इक्लिब्रियम देर इज ऑलवे आई दर सर सरप्लस और शॉर्टेज वी रेयरली अचीव दिस सिचुएशन दिस इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट which is there to understand the market forces so we rarely achieve this kind of equilibrium in the market okay so this way we can understand the market equilibrium now the question is if what if uh, the other factors other than other than the price because this equil market equilibrium we have understood with the help of movement of prices along the same demand and supply forces you know we are talking about law of demand law of supply how price movement brings in change in demand and supply forces what if other factors which we have studied about demand uh, depends on other factors like price of other related goods income of the customers then test and preference climate whereas supply depends on input cost cost of production technology number of firms if those changes there will be shift in the supply as well as demand so when there is a shift in demand and supply forces the relative strength of demand and supply forces determine uh, the level of price and quantity so let us see with the help of uh, this uh, uh, table what happens we can do prediction we can make a prediction on the basis of this shift in the supply and demand curve what happens if there is simultaneous uh, shift both in supply and demand factors so if demand increases and supply also increases in this condition you can easily make out that the quantity uh, demanded and supplied will go up there will be upward movement but what will happen to price that remains ambiguous that depends on relative strength of demand and supply forces okay so price is not clear whether it will be it will be more or less which way it will move but quantity certainly will increase because demand as well as supply both have uh, gone up but what happens when demand increases and supply decreases you know demand increase supply decrease so in this case certainly because supply has gone down demand has gone up so price is going to increase but quantity again it, it will not be clear it will depends on relative um, uh, strength of demand increase and supply decrease forces okay then third condition may be when demand decreases and supply increases right in this case when supply increases and demand decreases price is going to fall price will fall certainly in this case and quantity that will remain ambiguous not clear it will not be clear which way whether the demand quantity demanded and supplied will increase or decrease it depends on relative strength of demand and supply demand decrease and supply increase and finally fourth condition when demand decreases and supply also decreases both decreases so certainly when both decreases the quantity is you know going to fall because supply has also gone down demand has also gone down but what will be the prevailing price that will remain ambiguous unclear whether the price will remain at as it is or it will fall that again depends on the relative strength or relative intensity of supply decrease and demand decrease whether supply has decreased more or demand has decreased more on that it will depend so this is about you know market equilibrium and the uh, what do you call uh, simultaneous change in demand and supply forces bringing in change in price and quantity demanded and supplied so thank you so much students if you have any query any question related to market equilibrium and the changes in demand and supply forces bringing in change in price and quantity supplied and demanded do comment in the comment box thank you so